All right, welcome back to part two, Joomla uh, on DigitalOcean. I'm running Joomla. I'm going to install Joomla 3.0. Uh, let's get started here. If you stopped at part one, this picks up exactly there, part one where we finished. And the first thing we have to do, Joomla needs re Apache rewrite, so we're going to do Apache rewrite, sudo a2 e n m o d rewrite, and password in module rewrite already enabled you won't get that it'll just enable it for you because I already did it um, but once you do that I already have it done so we're just going to restart Apache which you normally have to do if you would do that now Apache puts everything in var www I don't put everything in var www I put everything in uh, my own directory so I'm going to make some directory here Oh, pseudo me here, please. And let's see, make directory. I need a directory for all the HTML files where they're all going to go to. And make that directory. And then I need to make a directory for all the log files that Apache needs. Once all that's done, what we're going to do then is we're going to take the sites available, and sites available basically tells Apache what sites are available and where to find the file to do that, and it's going to be wet soup. Now, once that's done, we have to go in and change the sites available file to tell it basically where to find the files at. This is the default one. Let me walk this through you. I'm going to walk through this. I'm, I'm just going to copy it in here. It's the document root. is going to change, which is var www. The directory var www is going to change. And right below this, the error log, we're going to get rid of that. And the custom log, we're going to get rid of that. What I'm going to do, though, instead of typing all this, trying to make it quick, is I'm just going to get rid of the whole thing. And let me paste it in there. I have it on a, um, I already did it here. A and I'll walk you through it. Alright, what I changed was document root. Because it is now home John Lamp. Those are the directories we made. Home John Lamp public HTML. And then home John Lamp public HTML is the directory overrides. And the error log is going to be error log, which was the, uh, we made this home John Lamp logs. And the same thing here for the custom log. Same thing. And that's just going to be the directories that we entered in earlier. Control X. Yes, save that puppy. Now, make sure it all works. Um, let's do sudo service um, Apache 2 restart. All right, it's all working. If you get an error that it didn't work, you did something wrong in that file. Ah, moving on. We have to tell, actually, this is where, really where it's going to tell. We have to add the site, wet soup. Okay, it's already enabled. You won't get that already enabled because I already enabled it. Um, and then we also have to tell Apache not to use the default one. And now we're going to reload, restart Apache. Okay. Everything with Apache is now functioning correctly with those modifications, which is going to basically tell it where to go. Now, the only thing we have to do now in the PHP INI file is the next thing we have to edit for um, for um, a, for Joomla. Um, I'm going to pause this. I have to scroll down and find the sections. Uh, the first one is going to be page 
buffering. Let's see if I can find this real quick if I can't. Oh, output buffering. Uh, I thought I just seen it. Language options. If I there it is. Output buffering. We're gonna turn this off. Off. And then we're gonna go down here to posts. So that we can upload and post. Yeah, it's a pain finding this. Error logs, we don't want to care about that at the moment. I'm just doing the things I need to do to make Joomla work. Yeah, I'm sorry this takes so long. Okay, there we go. Post max size. Change this to 20. And then file upload is the next one we'll have to change. It actually should have been up there closer. Oh, there it is. File uploads on. Upload max file size. Change this to 20. Alright, control X. Yes, make my changes. Save it there. All right, now PHP INI is uh, changed, and what we're going to do now is we're going to restart Apache. Make sure we did everything correctly; it doesn't crash on us. All right, that's all changed. Now we have to download. I'm going to stop this. I'll pause this for a second because um, I'm going to bring over to my HTML file. I'm going to bring over an old copy of Joomla. Only because I want to check to make sure that within Joomla, the um, upgrade, when you go to upgrade Joomla, it works from within Joomla. So I'm going to stop this for a second and go and pull that file up. All right, basically, what I did was I came into WinSCP and I'm going to bring the Joomla file and bring it over to public Joomla stable 3.1 because I know there's an upgrade right after this. And I want to make sure, ah, well, it didn't work as planned. Hold on, i got to change permissions. All right, I'm back again. What I did was I logged in as uh, myself, and I forgot that uh, these are still owned by Root. So I can't log in as myself and do things as uh, Root. So I'm just taking this old version of Joomla, pushing it up. Uh, that'll push the old version of Joomla up. We'll do that because when we get into Joomla, we'll be able to test that um, the functionality to upgrade within Joomla is, is definitely working. Okay, that package is up there. We can get out of that. And let's get back to um, Mr. Putty over here. So we uploaded that up to the site. Let's see what now. Let's see. Next step would be to. Um, Create the configuration file. We're gonna sudo touch. Ah, can't do it there. We're gonna have to change this to home. John Lamp public HTML configuration PHP. We need we need that file up there. Uh, that's for your configuration for um, Joomla. MySQL. Let's get into MySQL now. We're going to create a database for this new uh, Joomla application. Joomla. They'll create the user. Username is Joomla. Joom. Create user Joom on the local host. And then we're going to set the password. And this is a problem right here. Single quotes. Don't use double quotes or it will give you an error. Sometimes. And now we got to grant all privileges. Grant all privileges on Joom. Do Joom. Uh, do 
June local host. I didn't find by the password. That's correct. All right. Now we just have to flush privileges and exit. There. Database is all set up. Everything should be working. And now we're just going to restart our Apache web server. And this next line is very key to make everything work sudo change owner dash capital R www dash data that's the user and then colon www data that is the group so basically we're changing ownership of everything that's over there to um, www data and one thing I forgot to do is sudo Unzip. I gotta unzip that file. Change directory. Home. John. Lamp. Public. HTML. That's, that's there. So I'm gonna do sudo unzip. Joomla. I'll run this again, change ownership, no big deal, should all be changed already. Um, and one thing we're going to have to do from there is we're going to have to take all the directories and change them to 755 to make sure they're at 755. And we are going to take all the files and do the same thing, change them to 750, 644. That'll take a while to go through that, but they should be done. Now, if I go up here to MrWetSoup.com, should have the Joomla installer. There we go. Site name, test, email, ADS, um, username is John, password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, confirm password, next. Localhost username Joom password one two three four five six. That's what we created and put in there. Database name is Joom. Backup remove. I'm playing with that right now. Um, we'll do the test site. Install it. Everything should go as planned. Remove the installation folder. That's successful. And let's take a look at the site. Site is up. Home sample sites. A fruit cyclopedia, whatever that is. Okay, now we're gonna go into the back end. Make sure all the components and everything work. One of the things I want to test is the Joomla update because this is why I did the other one so I can make sure this update works install the update this will tell you whether all the components are working and it's writable to everything now if you're worried about security there are other things you could do to go through security this is just to get you up and going and if you followed what I did you should be able to be up and running and if you need any further help, just uh, Google plus me, see me on Google, subscribe, put a note in this by the end of this um, video, and I can get uh, back to you. Thank you.